test test one two well <laughs> welcome back to the pond oh managed to get out and um, I'm so glad I have because the rain was forecast to be torrential but I've managed to get in get set up and it's um, not rained so um, yeah hopefully we're on to a winner got a load of worms to try and get through um, chances are picking up a perch as well there's a few perch in here so uh, yeah let's uh, let's get some bait in the water and um, see if we can't pull a fish out right, let me get some brown on top probably two good handfuls with that amount of bread that I put in. Now I'm going to wet that down. Um, when you dip it in the pond it can be quite hard to uh, gauge the amount of uh, water that you're getting in because it's you don't want to over wet this. So sometimes it's better to fill a, um, a bait bucket, uh, sorry, a bait tub, just uh, full of water and you can drip it in. This seems to be working. Water's cold actually. Water is cold. The air temperature has been quite warm for a few weeks, but it's finally starting to uh, chill down a little bit. A good, good glob of mess in there. Look at that. That's just glob. I do have uh, some of this uh, red stuff that I used in a, a video, probably beginning end of last year. So it's well over a year old. So I'm going to get a load of that in there just to try and get some flavour, flavour going. Interesting colour as well. Just use half of that in, in that in that bucket. That should help bind it together as well. Get a few bits of corn in there, and I oh can't know what the hell else is at the bottom of here. We've got some dead maggots, and um, I don't know what that is. Bits of old ground bait and stuff in here as well. I think try and get some dead maggots in there. Yeah, this is all frozen solid. So anyway, the idea is to get a bit of food in the water for them and see if they'll uh, come in and have a look. Right. Let's get a few globs of this out. So that's hooked through the middle once. Let's hold it up against my jumper or something. Uh, so it's hooked through the middle once and then sort of turned and back hooked on itself so hopefully it won't wiggle off. Don't know if you can see the water, the rain's starting to touch down a little bit now. I'm going to get this one shipped out and then uh, get the other one out. Oh, oh, didn't think about this. Hmm, no sniff. Rain's died off now and it's gone nice and nice and calm again. I'll give it half an hour. Then I might have to go for a walk around. There is a willow tree actually just in the swim next door which I'm uh, quite intrigued by so I might go and drop a bit of bait underneath it and just go and have a little and just leave it to do a thing. And then I'll uh, might drop a rod under there just in a in half an hour's time. I think it's either going to need to be a change of tactics or a change of position. And I think it's going to have to be position because it's just nothing. It's just nothing. 
there was thing the, the reason I came to this swim is because uh, I, I saw things move as I came in. So, but they've obviously moved on, and they ain't coming back. I keep getting a bit of drift as well, pulling this larger float out of line, which doesn't help. And I've just switched it to corn as well. That wasn't a very good car. Just switched over from the worm to the corn. Just to see. Just to see. But I'm absolutely I've poked about with this um with these maggots. Nothing down in the margins, nothing sort of under that tree, under this tree. Very strange. The rud in this lake are prolific. And they're everywhere. Just not now. Still on for moving in ten minutes. Raining now. <laughs> I went and had um, a look under that um, willow tree. Don't know if you can see it, just next door. And <laughs> I did pick up one tiny rud underneath it, just with the. Um, I just poked the rod right in underneath it and just dropped the float down on the centre pin. And I managed to pick up like a tiny rud, it was about that. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to ship all my gear around the other side of the lake while it's like this, so I'm going to hold out for a bit and um, wait to move. Yeah, it's coming down. I'm still fishing. Then if you can see, there's one, one float just here, about here somewhere. Very annoying. But hey, that's fishing. Not set up, but I've moved round to the other side of the island from where I just was. Oh, lugging all the stuff. <laughs> but I've come here because there's a big nice section here and it goes all the way along. Sort of like, if you imagine there'd be a quite good pathway I know it's underwater, it's not a path, they don't have legs. But, you know, it'd be quite a good track for fish that are on the, you know, doing the perimeter uh, in the margins. So I'm going to try baiting up a bit, just sort of down here. And then um, maybe a bit under this tree as well. And then just try and catch them if they're moseying through. When I was on the other side, I saw a lot of movement in amongst all this gubbins. So... Obviously, I can't really fish in there, but... Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a fish activity. Could come for this one. This is quite open. This might not be too bad. Pardon. Who's that muggins over there? I don't know if you can see where I was. That's where I was, that swim there. <coughs> but um yeah. We get get all the gear ship round. Got one more trip. And then um just gonna set up here and spend the rest of the afternoon probably catching nothing, but we'll uh, I'll keep you posted and um bring you back if anything changes. Not lucky today. Unlucky 13 today. Back again. Set up on the opposite side of the bank this time. So I'm going to get the rod rests in. Gonna get a little bit of that red ground bait mixed up and then try and drop it just in this 
little hole I showed you. Let's see if we can get the floats on it. I think you can see it. Every chance of that disappearing. Literally, just as I turn the camera off. <laughs> Don't know if this is going to get it. Bit of a tangle, picked up the other line. Let's get him on the mat and let's have a look. I don't know if any of that was gone caught on camera, if any of it was in focus. I don't even know if this is in focus. But oh, that's one one for the day. <laughs> Not massive, beautiful little fish. I might just weigh him just to re uh, regather my bearings on what fish weigh. Save the blank anyway, that's the important bit. And that was the culprit. A little bit of worm. So that shows just how much, how critical it is just to move and just reevaluate it. Because I could have been sat over there for another couple of hours and not had a sniff, but come around the corner, bang couple of pounds worth of carp straight in the net. Beauty. Right, just, just weighed him, it's four and a half. So, very nice to have that. Just let him recover in the net. And then, uh, just let him go. Over the top. And away. Beauty. Stick another rod right under that bush. <laughs> Lots of ripples of movement in amongst this rubbish, but I've just dropped it off the edge there. That's where I picked that other fish up. And it's dipped already, but just wait to see if anything uh, comes knocking. Centre pin runs uh, rigs in an absolute tangle down there, so I'll sort that out in a minute. But oh, did you see that with the bite? Did you see that bite? There we go. We're on again. Oh, we're on again. Hit and hold. Hit and hold. Straight in the snags. Oh, he's in the snags as well. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, round there. Come on, pull him out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's a bigger fish. Come on, monkey, get out, get out. That's better. Whew. Last one was a four and a half pound common. So what we got today, Jim? Oh. Oh, is that a mirror? It looks like a mirror. Oh, yeah, it's a mirror. Oh, no, it's not. It's common. It just look very smooth. This one's going a bit better than that other one. This is the barbel rod, so it should, should be able to do the work, which it is doing the work of the 
I've just realised the float has slipped right down to its face. So something's happened with the uh, shots holding that float up. Cool. He's got some fight in him, this one. shot this one I think. Still going. Fourteen and a half is my PB out of this pond. It's out of this swim as well actually. Funny enough it was uh, under the bush to my right and it was on worm as well. You finished mate? Oh, he's in the net. Another one in the net. All right, let's get him to the mat. That's six pound 12, that one. Very nice. I think he's just about recovered, so I'm gonna um, lay him in the water for a bit. Oh, oh there's a lump. Fall in. in for a sec. Oh yeah, he's keen. Right. Off you go then, mate. Get your head out of the room. Get your head out of the room. There you go. And away. Straight back. Beauty. Oh, that's two within 10 minutes. Worth the move. Rain started up again, so I'm sort of battling with that a bit. Just knocked it all on the head. Shame, I had something going down here, I think. And it's just like picking up a bit more as well. And I'm starting to get wet. When you get wet, you get cold, and you get miserable. So I'm just gonna move back. Half a, half a meter under this umbrella a little bit. Right, it has been one of the most dreary and wet afternoons I've had in some time but all was not lost after I decided to make the move from over there I managed to pick those two fish up which you know saved the blank made the trip worth coming out for I'm in the last half an hour now so if and when something might happen I'm down to one rod, pack the, uh, pack the other one up. This, there's no sign of this rain clearing anytime soon. So I might just be washed out for the last half an hour. But if this is all, then thank you very much for watching guys. It's been, uh, <laughs> been entertaining for me anyway. So I hope you uh, find some inspiration to get out and enjoy doing whatever you it is that you enjoy for me it's just coming out huddling under this umbrella <laughs> and um, seeing if we can't pull a fish out of uh, out of the pond but we've managed to we've managed to put two on the score sheet so uh, what was it six and a half and um, no, four and a half and uh, six pound uh, six pound twelve so well chuffed with those two. I'll um, keep you posted if any more material comes out. Don't forget to give it one of them, press the bell, do the what's it. Hopefully I'll get out soon. I've got a couple of videos in mind, but weather permitting, I'll get out, get some more stuff filmed, and uh, upload it as soon as I can. So, from me here, <laughs> in a very wet West Sussex 
Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye.